Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Hayo Silver, away! Welcome to OCTV. Thank you for watching. We're coming to you semi-live from the second annual Lone Ranger Day Parade down here in lovely downtown Oxford, Michigan. I'm Andy Curtis alongside Terry Stiles, and we're going to be your voice play-by-play -play for all the action that happens today. We're going to be joined by Rod Wright, too, who's out there in the action talking to the people of Oxford and seeing what their thoughts are in today's parade. If you're not here, you're missing a great day, but you can catch us on the weekends from 1 to 4 for the next week or so, so it'll be through the middle of August, and you'll be able to see this wonderful parade. Judging by the crowd, Andy, it looks like we've got as many people here as we did it's last year. It's a huge turn. <laughs> this is my first time being down here for the Lone Ranger Parade, and I've, uh, so far we've already seen a couple of celebrities. Charlie Langton from Fox 2, we ran into him. All right, look who we ran into here along the streets of Oxford at Lone Ranger Days. It's amazing <laughs> who you find out here, you know, rolling the streets of Oxford. Oxford's beautiful. I love Oxford. Come up here for Oxford for, uh, you know, Sunday brunch, walking around this beautiful city, and today with the sun out, this is great. Parades, how can you beat this? I can't think of any way. <laughs> That's great. But you know what? You guys are the, uh, at, at, at OCTV doing a great job. This parade is good. It's kind of fun just to kind of kick back and, and see what kind of good talent and fun there is in Oxford. It's just, this is great. Now, do you come up to Oxford a lot, Charlie, or is this kind of your first time up, you know, northern Oakland? County? No, 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 no. I've been up to Oxford, no, every so often, you know, especially, you know, I get off at Fox 2, especially on a Sunday, we like to go out and just kind of have a leisurely breakfast, kind of walk around. Oxford is a place that we go to. We kind of keep a nice little low profile <laughs> around here sometimes, but no, 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 I've been to Oxford a lot of times, and, you know, like Orient up here and over to Clarkston, northern Oakland County, oh my gosh, I mean, if no one has, ex if you haven't experienced northern Oakland County, Oh, you're missing so much, but this choo-choo chocolates, where's the choo-choo chocolates? It's down. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for here. In fact, we're going to take a bunch home with us. Uh, I've been coming to choo-choo chocolates for a long time. Too long, probably, as, <laughs> as you were here at Oxford Television. Do it. OCTV is where it's at. Charlie, really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. Really, really appreciate it. You got it, Andy. All right. Enjoy, everybody. Enjoy the parade. I've seen Paws, the Tiger's mascot, roaming around the grounds. Oh yeah, we can't be without a tiger's no, mask we yet. <laughs> We've had already a beautiful show of old cars come through here. I know there's going to be a old car show. Hopefully we'll get some uh, footage of that so we can show everybody that are missing this wonderful mm -hmm. event in Oxford. Second annual Lone Ranger Days Parade. It's a Celebrate Oxford, which is always in uh, the first week of August. Mm -hmm. But, man, I'm telling you, these crowds are something else. And we really are taking up prime real estate here, almost at the 50-yard line of the parade. <laughs> I, I, suspiciously across the street from the tap located. Uh, <laughs> and nobody's is, going in there right now, so they're paying attention here. That's right. And what uh, are they going to be paying attention? It looks like we're starting right away, leading mm -hmm. off. It's going to be the Oxford Police Department. And we are going to have um, the, the National Anthem sing by a young lady from Imley City. She's Mish, Miss Imley City, I believe her name is, um, Hollingsworth. And she's amazing. She's just a young lady. Always leading the parade off is Post 108 from Oxford. American Legion Young Marine Riders, eh? Really dedicated group of people. There's never a parade in this area without them. Um, and a nice Chief round of Nemo. applause from a big crowd here of the deserving individuals walking. Very dedicated off this men. Parade for us. Of course, our own leader is um, belongs to Post 108, Bill Service. Actually, too, my. Uh, Grandpa, I believe, also, too, is a Post 108 member. Bravo. Such dedicated people to this community. Oh, yeah. Hopefully all the freedoms that we enjoy are because of these brave men and women. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm 
Looks like Cap's getting out. Maybe he might be making an arrest. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Chief Nemo's always here to start that parade out. Two young ladies singing the national anthem. A bit of distance away, but it looks like they were playing some songs afterward. And here we go. Hush from all in attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get our train underway. We might have done a national anthem, but then it was a video from our flower garden as they make their way up the street. But again, we want to grace our stage. Oh, so we're going to get a double dip of the national uh -huh. anthem here. They're going to, and rightfully so, sing it again for all the servicemen and women as they walk up across Burdick there. Jim Hughes from OCTV is also the MC for this parade today. Oh yeah, we're we're all over this place. <laughs> We've got it covered. I dare anybody not to have goosebumps <laughs> after that one. That was quite a moving moment. Lovely. Bravo. Again, post 108, and the Young Marines. And the Riders repre representation of the post. See a few of them are wearing masks. I assume that's because of the <laughs> today. <laughs> Hope that's not a regular part of their outfit when riding the motorcycle. <laughs> And there's a dog riding a motorcycle, <laughs> <laughs> taking it all in stride. <laughs> oh, adorable. He looks like he even has a little bit of a dog Lone Ranger mask on himself. <laughs> now, Rod Charles, who was very instrumental in, again this year in putting this parade together, worked fast, furious, and hard to get the stagecoach in this parade. And that is and the Wells Fargo stagecoach, if I'm not mistaken. They are very happy to join us again this year. They had um, quite a good reception last year, and it's a great representation of our Lone Ranger days. You like California? Yeah, no. 
Wells Fargo. We'll do it here. Followed by a couple of Tanto lookalikes. <laughs> Tantoettes. <laughs> The Lovely. technical term will be tantines. <laughs> tantines. Mm -hmm. And this is an interesting little cart. Horsepower is riding power, 4H. Boy, isn't that something. There's an excellent uh, horse supply shop down here in downtown Oxford. Been here as long as I can remember. She's been here for many years. There's a Lone Ranger in the van. <laughs> this horse must be out to pasture for now. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe he wrote that in the movies, but... Uh, he's just updating us. Oh, Ride I think we have justice. our first... It looks like Rod found our first interviewee of the day. We have Judge James for our uh, Grand Marshal of the parade. Yeah. Judge James was gracious enough to um, uh, honor us with this presence. Ron, what's this little guy have to say about well, this parade? Uh, hello, what? and what's your name? Caleb. Caleb. Caleb, Are you, you live in Oxford? Yeah. You like the Lone Ranger? Yeah. Um, what's the Lone Ranger's camel's name? Northeast oh, Oakland oh, Historical oh. Society. What's the Lone Ranger's camel's name? We did a pretty good interview with them. I'm joking with you. What's his horse name? Just redid um, after the renovation of the of the museum. Caleb. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Caleb. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. Do you like the Lone Ranger? Yeah. Have you ever seen him on TV? Yeah. Did you see the movie? Yeah. Are you from Oxford? Yeah. What's the Lone Ranger's camel's name? Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm joking with you. He's a horse. What's his horse name? Remember? He's all white. hi -o. hi -o. Silver. Silver. There you go. <laughs> hey, Caleb. See that gentleman sitting on top of that van? See right That's the Lone Ranger's grandson. How about that? Bob and Richard Daniels. Yeah, there he is, right up there. Jack's limo. Bob joined us last oh, year as a representation yeah, you, for Brace Beamer. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Caleb. Okay, so you better recognize you. Good to see ya. <laughs> thank you very much, okay? Yeah. Okay, look for yourself on TV. Yep. Okay, bye-bye. Yay, Caleb, thank you. <laughs> so I guess for all of those who didn't know that Brace Beamer is an Oxford native, had a home here, between here and Lake Orion, he spent his time, and he was the uh, most recognized voice of the Lone Ranger, which the radio program debuted on WXYZ in Detroit on January 30th, 1933. And this year is the 80th anniversary of the show, which had a total of 2,956 episodes during its long, long run. Now, Brace was the third Lone Ranger voice, but the most recognizable and the longest one. Prior to Brace, there was the Lone Ranger, who was voiced by George Seaton. And after him, Earl Gracer. Prior pl Thank to you. playing the Lone Ranger, though, Beamer had been the show's announcer and the station manager before he got the role that he'd become famous for. And it looks like Rod's got another interview. Yay. Yes, I am here with, with Martha Tusky. She is the biggest Band-Aid at Oxford, aren't you? I think I am. I self-proclaim myself as the OHS band groupie. <laughs> now, um... Something special is going on today with the band. What's happening? They actually have alumni member that they invited back to march in the parade. And my daughter from the class of 2010 is marching today. Um, much to my delight, there are a lot of kids that have come back. And I'm really excited to watch her. Um, the marching band at OHS is a fantastic thing to be involved in. I encourage anybody in middle school to get involved in band and look at it as an option when you go into high school. It's the only club where that you can be a part of where you're one of 100 to 200 members in the group. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. Well, you're a very boring interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I love the mask. Thank you. It's called Rancher Days. That's right. Well, good. Yep. Well, this is Martha Tusky and Band Camp's next week. And uh, thank you very much, Martha. Marching Band rules. <laughs> Back to you, Andy and Terry. Yesteryear Tractor Club. This is the first time they've joined us 
in this particular parade or this celebration. And what an amazing stand they're taking, isn't it? Wow, they're really into it. Masks and... They got about 11 restored wow. tractors going down here uh, right now. And some of these antique tractors, I am told, are similar to the Lone Ranger's very own farm tractor. That, that Brace Beamer had on his farm. And anybody that's interested in getting involved in this group, you can contact them at the Oakland 4-H Fair, the Oakland County 4-H Fair. Just find one of them, and I bet they're happy to talk to you about their wonderful tractors. Restored from the ground up, most of them. Wow, they all look to be in incredibly good shape, too. Yeah. A lot of work in those things. Oh, yeah. And my, uncle, uh, my uncle actually was into restoring tractors for the longest wow. time. They're worth restoring. They're mm -hmm. just good workhorses. Every single uh, farm all and John Deere all represented. I mean, here's looks to be an old military track. I don't know if that's exactly Isn't stock that cute? pieces. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think that's my favorite, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wonderful representation. <laughs> and Skelnex has chosen to sponsor Henry Ford. This head is Henry Ford's head, and then Spa on the Lake from Lake Orion joining us. It's pretty well done. Yeah, lovely. Now, do you know if these were specifically made for today's parade, or were they... They are sponsored, and they're from the Detroit Parade Company. Okay. So I'm say, I don't, can't imagine there's too many Henry Ford giant heads right. kind of laying around. <laughs> Uh, each business has the opportunity, so we'll put this in mind for next year, to sponsor the parade and be represented with one of these wonderful parade heads. They're great. Spa on the Lake from Lake Orion with Chuck Schneider driving the tractor. And he's doing a good job of it, he keeping sure it between is. the lines. And Tom from our DPW carrying the 5th Michigan Regiment Band choosing to come back again this year. And the 5th Mi Michigan, <laughs> the fifth Michigan. Michigan, I'm just so excited today. <laughs> the 5th Michigan Regiment Band is a historical recreational recreation of the 1861 band of the 5th Volunteer Michigan Infantry, which was mustered into service on August 28, 1861 at Fort Wayne in Detroit, Michigan. Fabulous. The present band brings American Civil War history to thousands of spectators each year through music and historical narration. The band performs at reenactments, living history encampments, festivals, historical events, and schools throughout the year. And they can be joined in the park after this wonderful event. Sorry if... There's people here that are missing it, but you can watch it on OCTV. And Cub Scout Pack 4 from Oxford, Michigan. Looks like um, Oxford Farm and Gardens is also helping them out a little bit. Nice TP represented on that uh, trailer they're pulling behind, that Ford, <laughs> or that Dodge Ram. TP as in tent, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And in keeping with Lone Ranger days, Oak Point Stables has a good showing. Owned by Jeannie Tuzik, I believe. You always kind of forget how big of a, of a horse area Oxford and surrounding areas are. It's big horse country around here. Proud equestrian representation around these parts. <laughs> Oh my goodness, those horses are pretty patient. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming this is probably part of the reason that Beamer chose to reside here in uh, the Oxford area. Yeah, he loved his horse, didn't he? Boy, every this whole week when I've been telling my uh, my dad that we were going to be doing this parade, he just he had so many stories about when he was a kid going to Beamer's property and feeding silver, and because he didn't live too far away from my parents or my dad's uh, mom and dad's house. So great memories for him to have. And you walk up and down the streets, and people will stop us mm -hmm. and tell us about remembering Brace coming over to their horse, their house on his horse. The SWAT team with Mike Mike Richard. Show you gotta get. Sweat. You gotta get. This. Um, I sure hope is this is planned, Terry. 
<laughs> These uh, tanks were donated by the federal government, Public Department of Fen uh, Defense, to Oakland County so that we can have what we need if we need it. That's some fancy riding. Yeah. Rod, I believe you've got somebody on the sidewalk as representations of Oxford little ones. I certainly do, and this guy is really dressed up for the part here. Are, are you a real cowboy? Yes. And what's your name? John Wayne. John Wayne's your name? It's <laughs> <laughs> lovely. Is it really? Okay, I have John Wayne, and is this your wife? Your, maybe your sister? Oh, okay. You guys aren't married. I just sister, right? No. I and mean, your name is? Olivia. Oh, you got a real name. Good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I got John Wayne and Olivia here. Uh, who's your favorite cowboy? John Wayne. What about uh, what about Bryce Bremer? The Lone Ranger, right? Now, yeah. do you, now do you know uh, Lone Ranger's horse's name? No, Silver. Do you know? Mm, no. What was his? What was the Indian friend's name? Tonto? Yeah, there you go. Too. You knew that too? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. Are you enjoying the parade? Yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, John Wayne. Tell him what he says to the horse. What's he say to the horse? His mom wants. Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. <laughs> There's something very wrong with that horse. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he says? <laughs> All right. Well, back to you, Terry. Okay, we just watched the GOP representation. The Terry Lynn Land Monster Truck. And McMillan and Brad Jacobson for state representative. Brad Jacobson's contingents. And Terry Jacobson. Yeah, and Terry Lynn Land is a candidate for U.S. Senate. She has currently served two terms as our Secretary of State. If you're interested, so we're coming up with it's the Michael Spitz candidate for office. Now, Michael Bravo. is a current Oakland County Commissioner and Oxford resident, coming up following the Jacobson Group. Former township trustee, who really seems to care. Well, if I could vote, he'd have mine. Legal immigrant, <laughs> I can't. So. Oh, I thought you weren't. Oh, well, no. I know you're older than that, right? <laughs> Or did you graduate college as a prodigy? Oh, yeah, I was one of those 12? genius kids. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Brad Jacobson, slow walk for him. He knows a lot of people in this crowd. <laughs> well, that's and a pretty good sign, Terry I would Lynn. say. And Mike Spitz. How's everybody doing? How are ya? Good to see ya. Everything going good? Yeah. Going good for you? <laughs> Hi Mike, how are ya? Great day for walking in a parade. So it's the Oxford new cheerleading squad. Yep. Volunteered to walk in the parade and cheer on Oxford for us today. Doing a good job, very boisterous group. Do you have to be blonde to be a cheerleader? <laughs> <laughs> There's a I, lot of blonde I girls say so there. if you're asking me, but <laughs> And the Oxford Wildcat football. I'm telling you what, this is a great group of kids. They learn ethics real young, real early. And the football season, the high school varsity football students season is starting up here pretty soon. I believe the first game is January, uh, no, August 29th. It's the last Friday of the month, if my calendar's right. And OCTV will be there broadcasting all the Oxford home games for Andy you. Andy Curtis will be there. And the Lake Orion cheerleading squad. It's so nice that North Oxford South Lake Orion, however they say that, is all joining mm -hmm. together to help us celebrate this day. It's really, really nice to see green and white right next to the blue and gold. Good lesson for that Michigan State yeah, you know, event thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Bishop's contingent here. Running for Congress again. The candidate Bishop. Got a nice set of wheels there. Looks to be a Mustang. 
quite a car. Anybody with a Mustang has got my vote. So he knows, he knows his constituents. constituents. No politics here, right? Is this a night This is the Knights of Columbus from Lake Orion as well, which does not mean they're only Lake Orion people. Knights of Columbus is great representation for both communities. Pretty elaborate float that they've got. Looks to be a recreation of the Santa, Santa Maria, Maria, which a few history buffs out there you will recognize as one of Columbus's ships. <laughs> Took me a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I just like I like to educate as, as well as entertain. And I think we're going to go back over to Rod, who's got some young uh, interviewees. I certainly do, and we're going to go through names real quick. You ready? Go. Charlie, Cece, Ava, Ella, Alina, Payan, Cora. Well, it Cora. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, what do what do we know about uh, the Lone Ranger? What was this horse's name? Oh, uh, Silver, yeah. What was his uh, Indian companion's name? Tonto. Tonto, right. Do you know Tonto's horse's name? How about Scout? Scout. Yeah. Well, good. Are you girls enjoying the parade? Yeah. Are you enjoying the summer? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, good. What do you got in there? Candy? Well, I better let you go out and get some more candy, huh? Okay. <laughs> Back to you guys. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, Rod. <laughs> they are going to go you. get some candy. Collection of restored Model T cars coming past you right now. Antique Vintage Car and Trailer Club. Wow. Powers Distributing represented. Boy, I remember my uh, my grandma, my dad's mom, she had this story about how she, her first car accident was in a Model T. Oh, my. <laughs> yep. But nobody could, got hurt. I, I don't <laughs> think so. But, and I don't think it did any damage to the car. Those were pretty uh, solid built vehicles. Crashed it in either a stump or a, or a tree. I can't remember. But <laughs> Learning how to drive yeah. that standard <laughs> stick, right? That always stuck with me that that was her first car accident was in a Model T. That's funny. <laughs> Griffin Claw, which is one of the local breweries south of here, Metro Detroit area, followed by the Coors and restored uh, antique Coors truck. And this is Addison Oaks Trail Riders. What a cool club yeah. that would be. Good for them, all dressed up to the nines today, representing Lone Ranger days. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a good time. Yeah. You know, I don't think I've ever been on a horse. Oh, and it's, I'm really oh, feeling bad about there. it now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at how much fun they're having out there. I did. And I have been on a donkey trails. once before, though. I have played <laughs> basketball on a donkey, but I've never ridden a horse. Well, I think you'd do well on a horse then. <laughs> <laughs> and look where they get to go. Addison Oaks is a great place to be. Idlewild Coffee. Idlewild Coffee is located on 33 Pleasant Street. Now, it's kind of tucked away there, so it's kind of, you know, it's important that uh, they're in this parade to get their location out. Representing with a, some pretty cool Volkswagen <laughs> vans. I learned how to drive a stick yeah, in a Volkswagen van. Oh, did you? Yeah. A bit of a jump from a Model new. T, that's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Idlewild is at Merge Studios. They're fairly new, so stop Great. by and say hi and have a cup of coffee. And then Little Caesar's Pizza represented here. Here's Pat Ball passing out Idlewild coffee. Rod, you caught somebody else. I did. I did. I got Mr. Uh, Jim uh, Parkhurst. I said it right? Yes, you got it right. Now, I guess you got a little story from uh, uh, Bryce Bremer. Yeah. Uh, Bryce uh, Bremer used to be in the service. Uh, he went in when he was like 14 years old. We remember when he, uh, the Legion used to be down where the Coney Island is located now. He used to ride his horse down there, down Drainer Road, come in and get a burger for lunch and ride his horse back. No kidding. Yep. Was it a white horse? White horse. No kidding. Yep. Now, I think the, 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 Andy, you probably know this, his horse wasn't silver, it was silver what? Silver Pride? Silver Pride, according silver to the research pride. we yep. had done. And I think that horse is buried, if I'm not mistaken, he's buried right down here back by the riding stable where his whole house was. Well, that's oh. what the rumors are. You can check with the historical museum, but I think I'm right with that. Okay, well, is, this is Jim uh, Parkhurst with the American Legion. American Legion. 
And uh, are you the commander there? No, I'm a past commander. The commander was in the parade marching with me. We had a good group of guys out here today. We want to thank everybody for showing up for the Lone Ranger Parade. Thank you very much, Jim. Back to you, Andy. Yeah, Rod, funny you should bring that up. From, you know, doing the extensive thank research at the OCTV studios like we do before events like this, it turns out Lone Ranger with you know, uh, Brace Beamer, for the first public appearances, he or the station's owners didn't have a white horse, so they had to rent one named Hero. Now, later on, he ended up uh, buying his own white horse, which he used, you know, kept at his own stables and used in the appearances. And that horse's name was Silver Pride. So I kind of thought that was interesting. It wasn't exactly silver, it was Silver Pride. And when they started things out, he had to use a rental. <laughs> Short, shortly getting a white one. Yeah, shortly oh yeah. Afterwards, yeah. Right? We uh, just watched John Riley, Republican, running for state senate, cruise on by and raise CS Extreme. That Whoa, looks like that's fun, an extreme it? package right there. Yeah, Look at that. Sure is. The only thing they're missing is a helicopter. <laughs> but you know, so does this little American motorcycle. Boy, look like a whole lot of fun. That's more my style. You probably get like 80 miles to the gallon on that. <laughs> yeah. Small cat. Having a shootout. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I hope that was planned. <laughs> The Shriners don't take too kindly to riffraff in these parts. <laughs> <laughs> They're cleaning up. The Shriners were really excited to join us this year. <laughs> and they're representing well. <laughs> followed by a followed by Tonto there. A 2013 version of Tonto. Now, the original Tonto in Beamer's radio program was played by 50-year-old Shakespearean actor John Todd. Did not know that. You write that down at home, folks. You can use that to win a bar bet later. <laughs> or Jeopardy. Or Jeopardy, yeah. So excited to have the Shriners join us this year. I like that they... Uh, replace their you know, <laughs> typical little cars with little motorcycles. They have one of those industrial horses. <laughs> Probably easier to ride. Well, the cleanup's better, I'm assuming. <laughs> and fewer saddle sores. And that's the Goddard School of Oxford following the Shriners here today. The Goddard School of Oxford offers care for children six weeks to six years old, summer camps for children up to 12 years old. Join them for an ice cream social open house on Saturday, August 10th, and that's free for everybody. Remember, that's Saturday, August 10th, and again, the price is nothing. Free to all that want to attend. Another sponsorship. Rod, you caught some more cowboys, cowgirls. I did. Cow people, cow poke. <laughs> I am here with, come on up here, um, my cord's not that long. I'm here with the Lone Ranger Posse, is that the name? Yeah. That's, and that's what yeah, you guys are called? And what did you do today? Um, We handed out masks and these hats to little kids. Oh, okay, that's where they got them from. Mm -hmm. So you're with the, like, with the parade group. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, how many masks did you hand out? Um, like... A lot. A like lot? Over a hundred. Really? How come you're not wearing your mask? Oh, I gave mine away. Did you? You had to give them away. And, uh, and you, you too, right? Yeah. He gave his mask to me even though I already have one. Well, good. You're keeping the Lone Ranger Bryce Bremer thing alive here. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Welcome. Uh, oh, I should get your names. Oh, I'm Natalie Carnegas and I'm 13. Caitlin Fox, same age. Jacob Morrison, I'm 12 years old. You're 12? Yeah. Wow. Ah, he's tall. Yeah, I hope he can dribble basketball. <laughs> All right, back to you, Andy and Terry. I'm Andy, and I'm a little over 20. <laughs> this is Team TORC, the Oxford Robot Cats, Who Oxford High School well. Robotics team, using all their own student-built robots. 
Now the TORC finished 16th in the world this year at the Aerial Assist Competition in St. Louis, Missouri. Not an easy accomplishment. There's no. hundreds and hundreds of teams from across the United States mm. that don't even make it that far. So they did really well this year. Yeah, that's real incredible. Yeah. And just let me say something about the DPW. While they are towing the North Oakland Dixie Band, Don has such a crew that it, without the DPW setting this up for us, we really would not have, a, have had a very oh, yeah. good opportunity yeah. to have this many people here. The Village yeah. DPW are always there when you need them. Incredibly instrumental in this thing even Done. happening today. So Done thank correctly. you to them. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Burdick, Street, Burdick Street Lawn Care. Pulling some children. <laughs> There's only one little ranger. That's sweet. And those kids are having fun. Yay. That's Lake Orion High School cheerleading team. That's wonderful. Again, it's so nice that Lake Orion celebrates this event with us. Oh, yeah. And yeah. they have their own events going on today. So it's really nice to see them take some time out and support us. Well, as long as there's no sports going on, I think we can uh, <laughs> be good. a little bit civil with each other. <laughs> We're good. There was one year that Oxford um, was doing really well in football. And they had to go play a game downtown Pontiac. And across the stadium, all you could see were green and white supporting <laughs> the Oxford football team. It oh, was really? really very cool. Karen Geibel for sort, uh, court judge banner. Karen is a candidate for the open seat in the Oakland County Circuit Court. She is a staff attorney and 14-year-old. <laughs> she is not 14. Oh. She's a staff attorney <laughs> and a 14-year county employee who has a passion for public service. Look for her name on the November 5th ballot. Now, is that the same position that Charlie Langton's wife is running for? Oh. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I hope not. I was paying attention, but... I was just too starstruck. <laughs> it was so nice that he decided to join us today, he and his yeah, wife. He was Lovely. Very kind, stopped, and uh, took some time to talk to us. And later on in the day, we're going to have another um, anchor from a different news station, WDIV Channel 4, Devin Skillian. But we will not see him as an anchor. We're going to see him as a band member oh. in Arizona Sun. It'll be their second time they've played in Oxford. This group coming up, just let me talk a little bit about this. These are Aztec Native Americans. And out of all, we, I was on the parade committee, and I've been working since January trying to mm -hmm. get a Native American representation oh, yeah, in this parade. And out of all the people I contacted, these three people agreed at the very last minute to do it. They've got powwows going on all over the state, oh, wow. all over Canada. One of their drummers just had shoulder surgery. I'm so pleased that they've decided to come and be an, um, a Native American representation in this parade. They're donating their time to do this. That's great. And it's such an education for mm -hmm. our children. This is our history right here. I'm so excited. Now, Beamer, actually, did you know he was an, made an honorary chief from the <gasps> Chippewa, Shawnee, Pawnee, and I Sioux tribes? I did not know that. <laughs> Oh, Pretty interesting man. stuff. I never would have guessed. But I know we, it looks like we're going back to Rod there on the street with another interview. Well, oh, you Hello. just put your bubbler down. I want to see the bubbler. <laughs> I want to see the bubbler work. Look at. It's all in the wrist. Is that what it is? Okay. Hey, hey all right. Now, what group are you guys? Are we Goodwill? Goodwill? Yes, we are. Oh, okay. And you're? I'm Fred. I'm Sheriff sure Fred. <laughs> I'm Sheriff Sam. You're Sheriff Sam. I'm Melissa Bartholomew, the store manager down there. Oh, I remember seeing you. Well. 
Great. Well, you're handing out candy to the kids and everything? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I like the uh, costumes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Bravo to Goodwill for being in our community. Absolutely. Yeah, I like your new store, too. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, good job. Thank you. All right. OCTV representing oh. OCTV and Oxford driving by with our station manager, Bill Service. And driving. Dave Kenny and Elgin Nichols carrying the sign. That's great. We want to be a presence in this community, that's for sure. Uh, now here, Lapeer County Sportsman Club, the Wranglers. Lapeer County Sportsman wow. Club, the Wranglers are an S-A-S-S-N-R-A -S -S and Wolverine Ranger affiliates. LC, uh, uh, excuse me, LCSW also supports 14 shooting venues and three types of safety shooting classes. Also donate to several churches, women, children, and neighborhood charities. And cowboy shooting. Oh, yeah. Whatever yeah, that is. Had a few of them turn out at the Lone Ranger uh, shootout. Silver. Nota's got silver an important. Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. Oh, no, Nota's got a really important um, issue coming up on the ballot. They are looking for a mill for the first time ever. Their funding has been cut due to federal cuts. And that is such an important service to this community, Addison Township. Uh, all over Oakland County, they're just, they really need support. Sorry, Andy, I didn't no, mean to interrupt. Just I just... More important than what I was saying. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but Noda, vote for Noda. And the Oxford cheerleaders, always ready to help celebrate Oxford. They're followed by Mercedes Carr for the homecoming queen. Oh, my. It pays to be a homecoming queen, doesn't it? Here's a little shameless plug in, in history of my life I want to tell as many times as I can. <laughs> I was actually in running for homecoming king back in high school. Lost in the final ballot. Been bitter about it ever since. <laughs> You'll get over it. I don't know. I don't know, especially with that Mercedes yeah, driving I know. by, right? That could be me. That could have been me. <laughs> right, there's the awesome oh, Wildcat marching bravo. band. Really nice to see such a huge presence. Well, my mother was a proud member of the marching band here in Oxford. Aww. I believe she was head sousaphone, or she's going to kill me when she re hears if this. You don't have her. it right, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> but I am getting, Mom, if you're listening, you were the head of something of the marching band. So let me get that right. It's an, an amazing discipline. Oh, yeah. It's, yep. it, we just stand here idly by it going, well, there's nothing to marching. Oh, oh not so, Kimosabi. Hard enough to learn how to play an instrument to do it while yeah. walking in formation. And uh, memorize all those notes. I was in a marching band, but it was green and white. Uh oh. song always makes you think of Animal House. <laughs> it's nice to see a, a guy playing a piccolo. Oh, yeah. Good for him. Okay, Rod's going to interview a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who you got there, Rod? I am here with Bear. Bear, how long have you been uh, watching uh, The Lone Ranger? <laughs> okay. Um, what's The Lone Ranger's horse's name? Oh, no, okay. Okay. I'm not getting anything, Andy. Back to you. <laughs> yeah, you <Get> did. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Bear. And he's here with the parade with his owner. Carrie. Carrie? Well, he's a nice boy. How old is he? He's 13. He has a brother at home that's 13 as well. And he couldn't make it, though, huh? <laughs> now, he probably watches Lone Ranger on TV. He sure does, and we listen to the DVD. Uh -huh. There you go. Speaking of Lone Ranger, Rod. There you go. Wow. All you oh, have to do is, is ask. <laughs> look, Bear, look. Lone Ranger and Tonto Hayo Silver, a fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hayo Silver. Terry, that's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> and is that the, the fateful the Indian companion Tonto? And the silver horse, rather than his white horse, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. <laughs> what was the name of that first horse he had? Silver Shadow. Or? <laughs> yeah. 
way. What better way to follow up the two people here that everybody came to see Standing than with Buckhorn Towing Service. Followed by our very own Oxford Fire Department bringing up the tail end of today's parade. <laughs> How appropriate. Yeah. They're both there for the rescue if you need them. Oxford Fire Department. I believe Oxford Fire Department was gracious enough to let uh, let us use one of the ladder trucks to film some excellent angles down towards the end of the parade. They got our very own Russell perched precariously <laughs> four or five stories up there as he's risking life and limb to bring the, the best footage of the day's parade. Russell, who hates heights. Thank you, Russell. <laughs> if you survive, Russell, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oxford Fire Department, they have a, a, a issue on the November ballot, looking to increase their millage, taking it back to where the original Headley yep. A lot of important starting. issues coming up this November that really affect the community. So make sure you do your, you do your duty as a citizen. Research some of this stuff before you go to the ballot box. And Addison joining us. And as Addison blares its horn, I think that signifies the last card today's parade as we finish things up here. I'll tell you what, Andy, it was a great parade, no disappointment. We're going to wrap it up and say goodbye to everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get out there and talk to the crowds and experience all the cool stuff that's going to happen the rest of the day. Not to disappoint. I'm sorry if you couldn't make it here. But again, I think we had a wonderful, oh, I had a great wonderful time. parade. Second annual. My yeah. first time being involved with the Lone Ranger Day Parade. And I couldn't think of, it couldn't have gone any better. It couldn't have gone. And we'll see you back next year. Yep. So for OCTV, you too. thanks for watching. <laughs> have a great day. And uh, see you around town. Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear.